Hey everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I have a couple new things that I wanted to try out. I haven't tried them yet. The first thing I want to try is this e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I So I've seen a couple different mixed reviews on it. Some people say they really like it and some people don't really like it. But it's only $6, so I thought I would give it a try. The other thing I got that I want to try is this Artist Palette from Koki. These are the prettiest palettes. Just look how pretty the packaging is. Isn't it cute? And there's like... I think there was four, there's three or four of these and they're all like, this one is called Treasured and they all have different names, not obviously different colors, but the they all have this rose gold color to them, but the front is different on all of them. There's the colors. I'm still not sure what kind of look I'm going to go for because when I got this, these are not like, this is not a palette that I would normally buy. These are not really the colors I look for in a palette, maybe this bottom row, but when I got this, my eyes were dilated i just got i just left the eye doctor <laughs> my eyes are dilated i couldn't really see anything so which i know you can see colors still but what i i couldn't open the palettes because they were like taped shut and this is what like i could see all the colors are way darker than they look like in the pan so we're gonna see if i can do a look with this today i've seen some pretty good reviews on it okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna try that out in this foundation and i'm gonna prime my eyelids with the believe beauty lock it in eyeshadow primer and i'm gonna set that with this elf hollow glow setting powder a couple things I do a couple things I do want to mention about this is the fact that it's sturdy. It's really like it doesn't feel cheap. It's heavy. It's got a, a really nice mirror on it. It's, I really like this packaging a lot. What I originally went in there for was the um, Arabian Nights palette, which they had, but I picked this up and I was like, oh look at those colors. I think I'm gonna go into this green here. It's called Cherished, and I'm just gonna throw it in my crease. You guys like the setup. My mirror is not in the frame <laughs> for once. So I have everything. The reason my mirror is sometimes in the frame, sometimes it's not in the frame. Sometimes you're a different height. I think today you're angled a little bit different. The reason is because I have everything set up on books. I have the light about three feet away. The and then I record my phone, so you're like right here on me. And everything's on books to make it a little bit higher. <laughs> and then so once I'm done recording, I put everything up. Because I'm in my living room, so everything doesn't sit here all the time. So when I'm done recording, I put everything up, and I don't know what books I used for what every single time. So that's why it's always a little different. I'm going to go into this blue here called Lapis. I'm going to throw that on my lid. I'm kind of excited. I'm supposed to go hiking today with my sister and my nieces. I love hiking, and I haven't been for a few weeks because I've been really busy with work. It's pretty hot out, so I don't know. It will be nice though, because where we want to go, they have a few streams. We can walk around in the water. There is some fallout. I'm trying to use go really light because, especially over here, I'm trying to figure out if that's why I can never blend this corner out. Because there's that no notorious corner that I can't blend out. It's a pretty blue, isn't it? I'm just going to blend out all my edges, except this one. Just trying to build up this back here, make it a little darker gonna go into this color here it's called obsidian it's like a dark gray and I'm just gonna smoke out this corner here that's not really that dark is it <laughs> these colors are really a little more uh, sheer than I like I think I can build it up you can really layer it on and kind of build it up some it takes a minute though then I'm gonna go into this blue here and it's called sapphire it's really a pretty blue and I'm gonna use my finger and just put it right here in the middle. Can you see it? Not really. Well, I'm not really getting much out of this. I'm gonna go back into this green here called Cherished. Throw it back in my crease, get that color back up there because I think I've blended over it. Ooh, if I use my brush on this sapphire blue here, it actually seems like it does more than my finger. We're gonna just cover everything up because I don't like how this is looking. I'm gonna go into this color here and it's called Treasured, which is actually the name of the palette. I'm gonna try to throw that back here. Ooh, that's a little darker. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this look. I'm not a fan of what's going on with this eye. I'm gonna go into this, it's like a highline color here. It's called Moonstone. I'm gonna go into this blue here, this lapis blue and blend this over some. It's 
seems to be a lot of kickback in this pan, which I don't really care about, but a lot of people seem to care about that. I'm back into treasure here with this more concentrated brush. I can feel like I can put my angle over here. Can somebody help me with this eye? What am I doing? I've been trying with a transition shade, without a transition shade. I've been setting my eyeshadow primer. I have not set my eyeshadow primer. One day I used, I actually used concealer instead. Still did it. I set the concealer. It doesn't matter anymore. It seems like everything I do with that eye is still doing that. It, it's really only been like recently. It's never happened before. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Arcelli Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen because it's my favorite. I got this from Ipsy and it's $17 regular. So once I use it up, I won't be repurchasing it. <laughs> but I do like it if anyone is interested. I always link everything in the description box. So if you like it, you can go buy it. But it probably is one of my favorite eyeliners I've ever used, but I'm not gonna pay $17 for it. I paid 13 for this Koki palette and I don't really like it. Well, this was unintentional, but maybe we're trying to save the look with an insane amount of eyeliner. <laughs> Hopefully it helped us look a little bit. For my for my foundation primer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I was gonna get the matte putty primer because my face gets pretty oily, but they didn't have it when I went to buy this foundation, so I'll get it sometime. I would like to try that one because I, I am getting kind of low on this one. I'm not gonna be out anytime soon, but I would like to try the matte one because I have a matte primer that I use that's from Wet n Wild that I'm trying to use up because they're no longer cruelty free. So I'm trying to use that up to get rid of it and then I'm gonna buy the matte one. If I can't find it in stores, I'll order it online. I do also wanna try that pretty fresh foundation from ColourPop. Never tried any, the only thing from ColourPop I've tried is my two palettes that I have. I haven't tried anything else from them so I'm kinda of interested to try that. There's so many foundations that I wanna try but I already have a pretty good stockpile that I shouldn't have bought this e.l.f. one. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. What shade do I have? 220 Beige for cool pink undertones. Ooh, that smells really strong. Wow. Fragrance and, and foundation and stuff don't really bother me, but if that's something that bothers you, this is pretty fragranced. Looks like we're too light again. <laughs> Maybe it'll oxidize a little bit. I watched somebody's review and they didn't like this foundation at all, but then I've seen a few. Kelly Gooch is one of them that I, I saw. She really likes it. It's one of her favorite drugstore foundations. So that's one reason I was kind of want to try it. And it's only $6. It can't hurt. And it's the foundation that e.l.f. chooses to actually put in stores since their acne foundation isn't in stores. And I kind of like that one. So that's why I kind of wanted to try this. Well, it looks pretty so far, doesn't it? Let's see if I need to set it in a minute. And there's a lot of fallout, so I'm gonna dust it off because I don't want to fall on my foundation. And I'm just gonna go down here. That's pretty down there, isn't it? Ooh. Maybe the next look I'll try with this is gonna be like these two with this one. Ooh, that'd be pretty. I really like that color on the bottom. It's really pretty. Yeah, I guess I think I am gonna have to set this. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hollow Glow setting powder. I'm gonna set right here where it crease. Doesn't seem like it's creasing too bad yet. And then where my glasses sit. So obviously I can see without my glasses. Just fine, like they're mostly for reading, driving, um, computer, stuff like that. But I wanna know how people who need glasses all the time, how they do their makeup. I mean, you gotta be really close probably, right? Really close to the mirror, I would assume. But then, what about this instance? You know, if you get too close, that long brush is gonna be hitting the mirror. How you do it? I wanna know. Well, how bad's this color? Let's see. Well, it ain't that bad. I think this is so pretty. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, the Perfusion Good Eyebrow Day pencil and the gel. So I always just fill it in the edges here with the pencil and then set it all on there with the gel. 
I really like how fine this pencil is. So for my blush, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I love this color, it's pretty. I'm just trying to stay on brand now. I've already used a few e.l.f. things, so I just love this blush, it's pretty. Just so if it bothers anybody else, I still smell that foundation. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a bad smell. I think it smells okay, I just, I keep getting lips on it. If that bothers people. This is a pretty blush, I like it a lot. I should have thought ahead and I could have made this whole video just Cokie and Elf. It's too late now, isn't it? That's okay. It's pretty close though. For my highlighter, I'm using the Cokie Soft Glow Highlighter. This is just a beautiful highlighter. I love this. I'm gonna take this color here called Moonstone and I'm gonna throw it right on my brow bone here. Can we see that? Yeah, that's pretty. I like that color a lot. And I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Gel Eyeliner for my bottom waterline. And then for my mascara, I'm using the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. I'm just bully to scrape that off. Guess what I remembered today? Setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last Matte. I forget setting spray literally every single day. Do you guys ever see people use setting spray and they spray for like 15 minutes? Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> so I, I spray it on, let it dry for a second, and then just pat it in, kind of to set everything. I think this foundation is so pretty. So it took me a minute, but I, I got this eyeshadow where I like it. Not this eye. So you definitely have to build up these eyeshadows. So I love this color and I love this color. So, so pretty. So I'm kind of excited to do another look with like these ones to pair with this one. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing with this. It's definitely not my favorite palette I've ever gotten. I definitely wanna try their, either the, either the Pure Magic or the Arabian Night one. The, the two, they're pretty similar, but I really wanna try them because I've heard a lot of good things about those. These are like, these are rated higher on their website than the Pure Magic one or the Arabian Nights palettes, but also I think these are older, like they've had, they've been around longer, so maybe that's why. But I'm, I'm pretty excited to, uh, I'm gonna keep playing with this, figure out how to use it better. They seem, the colors seem pretty sheer, but they were buildable, so. Not my favorite palette, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. But so far this foundation looks really, really good. The only thing so far, it, it creased, a, I don't even know if you can see, a teeny tiny bit here, that's nothing. That's normal with literally every foundation. The problem is when it goes from here to here. That's some, that's a problem. Ignore my nails. They're stained from always being painted. This is just a gloss from... It's called Lavender Stardust. I'm pretty sure I got it from Earthbound a while back. I don't even know like what the name of it is. But it's super cute. Look how pretty it is. And it smells like grape. I love the smell of grape. It's literally just a gloss though. So. I wonder if you guys can see my dog. Thank you guys so much for coming back i hope you enjoyed the review of these items the eyeshadow i'm definitely going to keep playing with the foundation i'll for sure leave a review down in the description box i'll wear it today and tomorrow thank you guys so much for coming back and sitting with me i had a, I had a good time if you guys have any requests for any of the makeup that i have any ideas any looks any requests i can put my look lotteries any kind of ideas or anything like that you please put them in the description box i would love to talk with you guys and i'll see you guys next week bye